Ed Hudak, Chief of Police. Looks like he's getting ready to give us an update. Let's listen in. Good evening. This afternoon at approximately 414, the Coral Gables Police Department received a silent holdup alarm at the jewelry store behind me. Officers responded within a minute and a half. Within that minute and a half, subjects exchanged gunfire with the proprietor who also fired back. As we arrived, there was also subsequent bullets that landed across the street at City Hall. From here, the subjects left in a vehicle slightly north of this location to Mariana Street. At that time, at gunpoint, they abducted a UPS truck and the driver. The incidents that you've watched uh, recently that it ended up in Broward County is a result of the incident and connected to the result of what happened here this evening. Uh, at this time, the Miami-Dade Police Department, uh, our state and federal partners of the FBI, FDLE, Coral Gables Police will all be investigating it jointly uh, and put out more information. Uh, at this time, uh, any other information from the Coral Gables Police will be disseminated from the scene in Broward County. Uh, with this, I'll take any questions. There was a woman who was hurt. Can you talk about that? There was a woman who works in the store that was injured at the scene. I don't know the status of her injuries at this time. Was she shot? That's my understanding, but it has not been confirmed by my people yet. So she was a worker who approached the man and how that would happen? I don't know if she approached them, but my understanding is that there was a, an employee who was a female that was injured during the robbery. And they carjacked a U-Haul, I mean, a, a UPS driver. Talk about that. Uh, the only thing we know is that the UPS driver, we, we believe, was doing a delivery here in Coral Gables. The getaway truck that was used was found at that location. It has been secured by the Coral Gables Police Department and will be processed. At that time, the individuals abducted the driver of the truck, as well as the truck itself, uh, which Miami-Dade Police Department got behind some time ago, uh, and then it unfolded in Broward County where the situation was terminated. Was that driver hurt, the UPS driver? I don't know that yet. I, I haven't been up there. I'm still here, so. There was a, there was a shooting in Broward County. Who was hurt in that shooting in Broward County? I, I don't know. I can't speak to that. Uh, and again, when I get there, I'll be briefed on that when I get there by the assigned departments that are handling that at that time. Well, it is a busy part of the Gables. It's Miracle Mile where we're at in Lejeune Road, probably one of the busier intersections. Uh, but I will tell you our response time was less than a minute and a half to what was a silent holdup alarm. And our closest unit was literally about 800 to 1,000 feet away on a traffic stop and responded on foot immediately. And so. That's my understanding. We got the first call we got was a silent holdup alarm at the store. Then we got another alarm from City Hall, uh, or a call in from our security forces that work at City Hall uh, at the same time. And that's why we've cordoned off both areas and both crime scenes. How many employees were in the store other than that one? I don't know that. I, I know that there was a gentleman uh, as well as a woman. That's all I know. Was it the officers in the suspect at all? Or? Were they gone before they got here? At this location, yeah. no, they did not. Uh, and again, when we got the second call that we responded to, I think it was within 30 seconds of the carjacking that took place just north of this location. And the getaway Chief car here, was it a U-Haul truck or something like that? Uh, I don't, I can't confirm that it was. I hadn't been to that scene, but we do have the, the car in custody and we are processing it. Chief, Chief confirm an attempted robbery or robbery? I don't know if anything was taken or not. And until the crime scene people get a chance to process everything, uh, I can't answer that specifically. Well, I know gunfire took place here at this location. They chased across the county line from uh, Dade into Broward and during rush hour. It's a very dangerous situation for everybody on the road. Talk about your officers working that change. Well, I mean, my officers responded, but they were pretty far behind it. So we've had people that sent up there. The Miami-Dade Police Department, uh, you know, I saw exactly what everybody else saw, along with, I believe, other Broward County units. Uh, you know, this is what dangerous people do to get away. And this is what people will do to avoid capture. If people give up and, and are held accountable for their crimes, then we wouldn't put these many people in danger. As far as, uh, you know, I saw what you saw on TV. I thought it was admirable about the way it went on. And I heard the same rumors that shots were fired. Again, I can't confirm that. 
uh, during the chase until I get up there and I'm briefed by my counterparts in other jurisdictions. Can you clarify why FBI will get involved in the investigation? Is it a jurisdiction thing? Is it a type of crime? They're, they're, they're assisting. I think we've, I've gotten assistance from everybody that called ATF, FBI. Uh, again, with the abduction, uh, they can handle the abduction. They can also handle the robbery. That decision has not been made yet until I get back up to Broward County. Chief, you said that um, bullets landed across the street. Can, can you give us more detail on you know, how many bullets do you think, how many shots did it The only thing we have right now is we have one bullet that hit City Hall, one of the windows. The employees in there are all fine. We immediately started our protocols at City Hall and locked everything down, as well as the entire area. Um, again, prior to our being able to lock everything down, they were able to make it a few blocks away. Chief, there's a lot of bullet cases behind the building. Is that where that shooting happened, the alley behind the building? You know more than I do. I haven't looked at the crime scene. I won't go in there. I don't know where the exact exchange of gunfire took place. Any eyewitnesses, Chief, that were on the sidewalk or anything like that? Not that I'm aware of. I haven't been briefed. Uh, any, any idea about the weapons? Rifle, assault rifle, handgun? I haven't, I haven't had any information. I think, uh, again, from here, we're all going. I'm going back up to Broward County to where this incident ended. And when that does, if we have more information to provide, we'll provide it then. Chief, we're now Chief. learning that both people that were in the UBS truck have passed away. Uh, your thoughts on how this ended, especially with this UBS driver being... Uh, I, haven't, I haven't been able to confirm, and, and no one's told me uh, the status of the individuals up there. Uh, you know, there was a hostage situation, and, uh, you know, this is, this is what we sign up to do, but these people don't. And, and you know, when, when matters get like this, it's just difficult for all of us in law enforcement, uh, let alone our society, that instead of just giving up, they chose to do this. So. Chief, how many suspects did it two confirmed? There were two subjects confirmed leaving, and the descriptions that we had did match the people in the truck, as well as the people that were uh, involved in the shooting in Broward County. The city of Coral Gables was supposed to lead the Christmas tree today. Do you know if it's a ceremony? No, it's not today. It's not today. I believe the tree lighting is tomorrow, and, and that will be up to the elected officials and the city manager. But Chief, any officers hurt at all? My understanding, no, none of my officers were hurt uh, in this in their response here. I don't know the status of all the officers that were involved in Broward County. Chief, could you walk us through the very basic facts that you do know and have confirmed? At 4.17 this afternoon, we released, received a silent hold-up alarm from the region jewelers. At 4.17 uh, and 30 seconds, we got recalls from the security guard at City Hall that shots had been fired at City Hall. That was locked down. Our units responded in, in probably a minute and 40, minute and 40 seconds, uh, at which point uh, they immediately cordoned off the area. The subjects were not here prior to us establishing. The vehicle was located. After we got a call about a carjacking of a UPS truck, and which eventually turned into a hostage situation with the UPS driver. Okay, as far as the victims inside the jewelry store, how many victims? My understanding, one person was injured. Uh, uh, how many other employees there were, I don't know. And again, I think because this is still unfolding, and now I, I've got to go up to Broward County, if anything else develops that we can talk about later on, I'll put it out there with my colleagues that will address the specific incidents that happened in that, at that location. Okay? City Hall, was City Hall placed under lockdown when you went? Yes. Those were our protocols. How that developed? How long were they in lockdown? Uh, they're on lockdown until we unlock it, and I can't, I have to check with my commanders if we open it or not, but no one was injured at City Hall. All right? Thank you all very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.